plug in and welcome back everybody to another edition of the Bro Report. I am your Road to IC and today is going to be a special video. So this is going to be showcasing uh, basically our family trip down to Southern Ohio. Now we'll see what this is. There is a little bit for everybody as I'm going to be going through uh, the whole trip in a very short amount of time. Showing short uh, clips and pictures and whatnot on the way down, what we did when we got down there, and on the way back. So this has a little bit of everything. So we will see if this is a highly viewed video or nobody cares video and don't ever do it again. So uh, we'll see. But so first one, and I'm going to cover my face. This picture right here is basically some scenery on the way down just because... Uh, being born and uh, raised right here in Ohio, this will give people that's not from Ohio a little, a little bit of a glimpse on how beautiful Ohio really is. Now, next is a picture that, uh, of course, when you're traveling with a four-year-old, there is always a potty break. And so at the rest stop on the way down, my little one spotted a bridge and, of course, had to go get his picture taken on the bridge. What I did not show is that shortly thereafter, he turned to run and toddler shoes and wet bridges do not mix and down he went, but he's fine. Okay, completely fine. Trust me. Third and fourth picture. So this picture here is more scenery on the way down, which again, just showcases Ohio's beauty. And then this picture right here is the fourth picture which again is just more scenery on the way down just because it's just a beautiful trip down beautiful scenery and I, I just enjoy it every single time now number five i posted this on facebook as you can see the mcdonald's sign that looks like it's surrounded by woods and i always put the caption that mcdonald's is always there even out in the middle of nowhere uh, no, that's not an optical illusion. There's just a side street that you have to go down and around those woods. And there actually is like a little area back in there. But uh, give it to McDonald's to put the sign up above the tree line. So that way you can know that there's McDonald's out in the woods. All right. So let's move on. Uh, this picture here is the bridge that goes over top of the Ohio River. Bridges are always fun to snap a picture of. Now, once we got down to there, down into Southern Ohio, for those of you that know Southern Ohio, you'll probably know exactly what I'm talking about because uh, it's, a, it's a very popular destination down there. Uh, but there is a store down there called Bridgeport, and they are a mix between like Tractor Supply, Rural King. Uh, they sell a little bit of everything. Now, let me show you a picture. All right, so as you can see, uh, and I only got one picture of the inside because they were kind of busy and I didn't really want people's faces in there. But uh, when you walk in, they have boats on the inside, ATVs, side-by-sides. They sell uh, firearms, ammunition, knives, uh, clothing, toys, uh, all sorts of stuff. And so it's just uh, one of the ones, that, like my little one says, it's the man store. So, <laughs> But there's a little bit of stuff in there for everybody. Now, uh, this picture here, I just wanted to toss in there because it's Christmas and they did a really cute little display of this uh, train set. The train was running. It went around inside of the enclosed uh, trailer there and uh, just wanted to throw that in there. All right. Now, one of the things when I was walking around Bridgeport, which they had a ton of things on clearance. One of them was uh, they had uh, browning boots on sale actually on clearance for twenty dollars and i was going to go buy every single pair that they had but the only size they had men's left was a size eight and i'm sorry i don't wear eight pairs of you know size eights but i did uh stumble upon this for sale and uh as you can see if i can get it in there on sale for fifteen dollars this nice kershaw folding so uh I had to snag that up. Couldn't walk the, out of the store with, uh, without that in my bag. So snag that up. Really happy. All right. So next we uh, ventured down the street a little ways and we found a coin shop. And in this coin shop, I discovered uh, they had a little bit of everything and absolutely just loved it. 
Now, some of the things that they had in there is that it had a little basket where they had, I don't know if that's going to get that with the glare. Mm, all right, well, maybe the next one. So they had basically coins, and these are all um, foreign coins. There we go. It's a little better. And these were five cents or so a piece. And so, I mean, they were just kind of cool to look at. So I snagged them up because uh, they're always fun. And then the whole thing of having something to talk about, okay, not really worth a whole bunch of money, but it's just something, you know, if you've ever seen that item, man, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's not really worth anything, but I've got to have it. Well, I did that. Okay. Um, so I bought a one pound bar of copper. Now, I don't know what in the world I'm going to do with it. This thing is heavy. It's one pound. Um, copper is not worth terribly a lot, but hey, I had to have it. Uh, I did, however, pick up, and I won't tell you how many, but uh, there's some one ounce silver that I did have to pick up, as well as I found in the half off bin the gold back. And as you can see right there, they were asking uh, 15 for it, but I ended up getting it for half that because it was in a half off bin. And I figured that was a good deal for me to grab a quick green back. So uh, that will just go in my collection. There were some other things, but uh, I'm going to share everything I got. All right. So let's move on. Now, these pictures. Now, this is uh, this picture is just a picture of the property that we were at. And then the same as this picture here, the second picture of the property that we were hanging out at and, and uh, just doing doing the fun stuff. All right. So we ended up doing a little bit of a Christmas exchange with some family that was down there and uh, somebody got a first or my first bow and arrow set and uh here's a video of his first attempt pull back okay as you can see uh he needs some practice but he's, he's got to you know down he's got a hammer it out but he's doing pretty good so uh we'll keep on him we'll keep trading him but i'm just happy that he picked it up and and uh, was all excited. He, we have to go outside. We have to. We have to fire this thing off. And so, uh, that was a proud dad moment right there. Okay. So next is going to be a video of just some standard uh, AR training, and uh, the microphone did not do very well down there. Uh, so, and this one is a incline. I don't know what degree, uh, but we were, we we're doing a little bit of an incline shoot. And this was, I forget what it was, 70 yards, 65 yards, something like that. And so here's a short video on that. All right, everybody, so we did some shots. I can get halfway down here. We're about uh, 75 yards, maybe. Let's take the hearing protection out. And let's go up here. Let's see how well we did with the 5.56 five, around. It's not terrible. I don't know what I did down here, but as you can see, this is free floating. So it's not terrible with uh, the wind blowing the target. Yeah, I had one up here, one down here, so that's not bad. So, all right, let's go ahead and throw a few more downrange. Right, and then we've moved on 
from that. And then we switched over and this is going to be the video of just some rapid fire training. So this is a, uh, empty what you have drop mag reload, go for it. So this was just a rapid fire, uh, empty the mag and having fun is all it was. All right, so this next one is actually really, really cool. So uh, somebody uh, basically let me borrow this one. I don't own this one, but uh, you know what? I'm just gonna let you see it so that way you, I don't spoil the fun on this video. All right, here you can see that it's a life card. This is a 22, but not just any 22. This is a 22 Winchester. And if you do not know, this is the pocket size. So the fun about this one, pull this out. There's your rounds. So what we'll do is we'll actually load this up and we'll actually fire this. So you can see what it does. Pull back on the charge. Let's give it a shot. Not bad. All right. So in this last video, I wanted to show the difference between a standard nine millimeter and a 10 millimeter because those that are not in the firearms would think, well, what's a millimeter difference or there isn't, you know, that big of a difference or whatever. Let me show you a little something to educate you a little bit on what's the difference on what nine and 10 looks like. All right. So right here we have the Taurus and nine millimeter. Most of you are familiar with nine mil. So let me show you. That's a nine mil. Let's fire it so you can see what it sounds like. So there's your nine mil. Next, we're gonna bump up to 10 mil. 10 mil round. A little bit of a difference to give it to you. Nine mil, big brother, 10 mil. All right. So after all of those videos on the way home, we were driving on the highway along the Ohio river on our way back. And there just happened to be a barge out there that I got some decent shots. And so as you can see right here of these pictures, this is just some really, really cool shots of uh, the barge doing its barge stuff on the Ohio River. All right, so uh, that was kind of the trip. It was going down. It was uh, spending time with family, getting out, getting into the woods, getting some fresh air, and uh, letting the kid be feral, letting him just run around and do whatever he's going to do throw, you know, stones, uh, hit a tree with a stick, uh, just whatever he wanted to do. Plus his bow and arrow set and, and everything else, letting the kid be a kid and grow up in nature, doing what kids need to do. Uh, it was a great time to just get out and unwind and it got me some good, uh, range practice being outside. It was a little cold. It was windy. There was spurts of, you know, some, some drizzle and whatnot. And that's the best time to train because when SHTF happens, it's not going to wait until that absolute perfect day. You're going to be out there in mud and cold and snow and really miserably hot and, and 
just really bad conditions. And it's a great way to not only test yourself, but to test uh, your weapons systems to make sure that everything is, is tuned in right, that handles it right. And it was just a great training opportunity. Plus, it was a great time to go down and, uh, you know, pick up some things. So, you know, anytime that I can go find a really good deal on silver, I love to get down there and do that. I love to check out those small stores. Uh, was, they were really great, inviting. Uh, everybody down there that I ran into was just good people. Everybody was friendly, smiles. Uh, everybody just kind of chit chat with you like they've known you forever, even though you met them two minutes ago. So it was, it was definitely very much needed. So. I just wanted to share that with you guys. You guys share a lot with me, and so I wanted to reciprocate and share back with you on our little trip. And then uh, now that we're back home, uh, it is back to work. So I'm back to researching and editing, and I've got some interviews coming up. Uh, we're going to do some giveaways during the lives. So there's a lot of stuff coming up, and uh, this was just a good little day trip to kind of get away and hit the reset button for myself because. I'm human just like you, and uh, I, every once in a while I need a break too. So, all right, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. We'll see what comes of this. If it's good, then I'll keep doing more of them when I travel. If not, then this might be the only one, as you can hear me play with my foreign money. All right, guys, uh, stay tuned. More information to come. God bless each and every one of you. Above everything else, please remember to remain united because we're all prepping in this together.